Equity theory suggests that people are fundamentally motivated by fairness. If we identify inequities in our social or professional relationships, we will seek to adjust them to reach a perceived state of equity. The theory was developed by John Stacy Adams in the early 1960s. According to this theory, we identify inequality and fairness by comparing our inputs, what we contribute, to our outcomes, what we receive, and assessing if everyone is getting fair outcomes in relation to their inputs. Let's look a little deeper at inputs and outcomes. First is inputs. These are what we bring to a relationship or job. These can include effort, time, skills, experience, education, and loyalty. For example, in a workplace, an employee's inputs might be their hard work, expertise, and dedication to the company. Next is outcomes. Outcomes are what we receive in return for our inputs. These can include salary, benefits, recognition, promotions, and job satisfaction. For example, outcomes for an employee might be pay, bonuses, praise from supervisors, and career advancement opportunities. The key to equity theory is that we compare our input to outcome ratios with those of others. If we perceive that others are receiving more favorable outputs, such as more money, for lesser inputs, we feel things are unfair. Let's look at two strengths of equity theory. One strength is its applicability to various contexts, including the workplace, personal relationships, and education. It provides a framework for understanding how perceptions of fairness can influence motivation, satisfaction, and behavior. For example, in a workplace setting, if employees feel they are being fairly rewarded for their efforts compared to their colleagues, they are likely to be more motivated and satisfied with their job. Another strength is that equity theory emphasizes the role of social comparison in shaping behavior. By recognizing that individuals constantly compare themselves to others, the theory helps explain why people may feel demotivated or dissatisfied even when they receive substantial rewards. This social comparison aspect highlights the importance of relative perceptions over absolute rewards. However, equity theory has its criticisms. One criticism is that it can be overly simplistic. Human motivations and perceptions of fairness are complex and influenced by various factors, including individual differences and cultural contexts. The theory's focus on inputs and outcomes may not fully capture these complexities. Another criticism is that equity theory assumes people are rational and objective in their assessments of fairness. In reality, individuals' perceptions can be biased and influenced by emotions, cognitive distortions, and social influences. This can lead to discrepancies between perceived and actual equity, complicating the application of the theory.